It was never really about the 70s. You could really stick us in any decade, and I think it was mainly just the relationships that people related with. Let's see, there's you, there's me, Candlelight. You know, back in the old days, we would've- We're not doing uh -huh, that. Yep. I mean, we were all really, really young when we started the show. I mean, I was like 17, Mila was like 14. We did all really grow up on the show, and it was unbelievable. This is great. Being out together, not on a date, just friends. I feel like virtually nothing for you. Me too. Here, let's have a seat. There you go. Oh, whoops, not a date. Oh, sorry. OK, a minor glitch. <laughs> I remember like sitting in the in the room in the hallway waiting to read for network and Wilmer was across the hall from me and I'd never met him before. And I was sitting next to this little like blonde girl and I had like flaming red hair and I was in like camouflage pants and flip-flops. Like, what's the big deal? What is wrong with you, Kelsos? Did all of you get dropped on your heads? And I remember looking at this little cheerleader girl like, wow, they really must have no clue what they want. Um, I found out later that they brought her in as a buffer, and they, they actually already knew they wanted me. Stop goofing around. We need to think of a better memory. What about the day I made you? All of you. <laughs> hey, you're gonna like Donna. She's pretty cool, man. <gasps> what? Hi! Wow! Sorry! Wow! What? Um, you're right! I like her! No, wait, I didn't see! Wait! And I was already pretty much independent and on my own, which is why I think Donna was such an easy transition for me. Uh, I know you've had a tough time since your mom left. No, Dad, I think it's nice that you have a friend. Really? Yeah. I also think it's nice that you're bathing and shaving again. <laughs> yeah. That was a long eight weeks, wasn't it? So long. The writers knew what they were doing and made all the characters grow beautifully and natural transitions into the next part of their lives. We never had to dictate anything. Everything they did for Donna was amazing. The audience seems to really respond to Eric and Donna because it's really real and kind of bittersweet. So Donna, you're staying? Okay. <laughs> What I meant to say was, look, Donna, I don't think it's cool if you hang out here. So what, you're like kicking me out? Wow. OK, then, bye. You want Donna to go on and, you know, be the rock and roll journalist slash first woman president slash, you know, whatever she wants to do. But you also want her to be with Eric. I must leave point upon the place and explore the world with my trusty cat named Sir Bonkers. No. I'll never let you go. And Eric sees his parents and, you know, wants to settle down and, you know, point place and have kids. And it's like they're two different ideas, but ultimately everyone wants to see them together. The direction that they did take with Donna was great. I got dumped in front of the whole world. I don't, I don't even know what I said to your mom at the hub, and I hate that she saw me like that. What is wrong with me? Hey, nothing. Look, your mom left. Come on, you're, you're allowed to freak out. Eric, I'm just... I'm so sorry. Hey. It's never really a challenge because the material they give us is just amazing. And it's always funny, and most people hate going to work on Mondays. I love it. <laughs> I'm like, yay, Monday. Ooh, guys, Fez's concert's about to start, which means we have three more hours without his sorry ass. <laughs> Let's eat his candy. <laughs> yeah.
My name is Fez. I love candy. Whore. Good day. I say good day. I think it's basically because they all loved being together and just living in the moment, you know, in the Foreman basement. I mean, again, I think it's just because people liked watching our characters. There must be some way to break the tension here. Oh, I know. Let's just have sex. <laughs> OK. Really? No. See ya. <laughs> Just the fact that I had the opportunity to have this experience with this group of people. Down the I don't think it'll ever happen again like this. I don't know, I get choked up when you're talking about it. But it's, it's been amazing. Peekaboo, honeydew, kung fu, cuckoo ka choo. I'm done. <laughs>